thank you to um, Dow Corning and the Hemlock Semiconductor for your commitment to work with us. This is such a great announcement. <laughs> two of them, two of them. I know we have, um, we have folks here who are not necessarily employed in the, in the silicon industry and in the solar industry. So just so that um, we all are on the same page, um, the two announcements that are made here today allows for Hemlock Semiconductor and Dow Corning to compete in the production, the advanced production of the kinds of solar panels that are being purchased today and where there is such a huge demand. Now, we know that in this country, with the incoming administration, there is, on the federal level, there is a commitment to renewable energy like we have not seen before as an opportunity to replace a lot of those lost manufacturing jobs in the auto sector. This is going to be the sector that's the economic driver of our nation. And Michigan, you better believe it, with these announcements, is poised to be at the forefront. Who would have thunk it? in a state that's often cold and cloudy, that we would be leading the nation in the production of solar energy solutions. Who to thunk it? California, move over. Silicon Valley, move over. This is the Silicon Valley. This is the new Bay Area, right? So as Skip Press is saying, if we are united, and I do want to acknowledge and thank the leaders of our, in our, in our uh, state legislature, and I see Dave Camp here, Congressman Dave Camp is also here, thank you on the federal level, because we're going to need to have a partnership going forward, state and federal. There will have to be a further commitment on the federal level to incentives to allow that distributed generation to occur in homes and businesses across the country. But between um, John Molinar and Terry Brown and Jim Barsha and Roger Kahn and Andy Kaloris and Roger um, and, um, da and Horn, <laughs> Ken Horn, sorry about that, I'm so sorry, Ken Horn <laughs> and Jeff Mays and Tony Stamas, and I think this is the other Stamas who was just... <laughs> Elected, congratulations, haven't said hello to you. And of course, Jason Allen, who's our adopted uh, senator to this area. The whole crew, plus our economic development arms, and we so appreciate Joanne Crary and your efforts, uh, especially in partnership with us, Veronica Horn. So appreciate this combination, because this, what we did last year, this past year, with signing the energy legislation that you all worked so hard on together with us is really the first step. Energy two will be the second step and we have to work together on what that is to help us propel this forward. And we know that as a state, this issue of distributed generation is important to the solar industry and it is important to the wind industry as well. Those who are up in the thumb, right Terry, know this very well, that we know that we as a state, because of solar and wind production, that you can't always save that energy that's when it's produced. So we have another opportunity as a state, and that is to do the whole cycle of generation and energy storage. And that means the battery as well. So we're a state that obviously has this 100-year proud history with the automotive industry. And the next generation of vehicle, the next vehicle will be the electric vehicle. We want to be producing that vehicle. The Volt is the first example of that in this region. But that is going to be propelled by a battery called the lithium-ion battery. That lithium-ion battery is going to be where energy is stored so that you will be able to uh, pull into your house pull into your house, pull into your garage, have that volt be storing energy from either your rooftop or the, maybe you have a small wind turbine in your backyard, or maybe you are buying renewable energy ions from a smart electric grid, which we will be investing in. But that system where you've got a vehicle that is powered by a battery that is made in Michigan, you have the energy generated by solar panels that are made in Michigan. 
You have wind turbines that are contributing to a smart electric grid that comes from Michigan. This is our moment, Michigan, to reshape our economy, to bring in a whole new industry of green jobs, of technology, of smart investment, to lead the nation, to not be viewed as we have been characterized uh, on national TV and in Congress as a state or a region that is behind the times, but to reshape ourselves to lead the nation in these solutions. This announcement today is so important for us to begin that, that redefinition, that rebranding of Michigan and of this whole area. You're going to call it the Bay Area region. That's going to make some very jealous in California. But too bad. This is our moment, Michigan. From the car, to the grid, to the battery, to the wind, to the solar panels on your roof, we're the place where all of that is going to happen. And so what this means to us is more than I can describe. It is such a huge deal. Both facilities both leading us into this new future as a state. It's going to be jobs, and it's going to be a future for our children and our grandchildren and this beloved state that we call home. So, Rick, you know, can Michigan transform its economy? I emphatically say, yes, we can.